Hey guys, Jason here with Samco Workshop. Today we're gonna to be talking about these. These amazing things that we have right here. These are drill brushes, okay? They work on your standard drill. We're gonna do a few examples today for automotive and a few examples for household. But these things are incredible. Um, one, all of the, you know, this is what we're replacing, is your simple hand brush, okay? Where you sit there and you scrub and scour like crazy and you work and you put a lot of time and effort into one of those. These, all of the yellow ones, came in a kit on Amazon that I bought years ago and they still hold up well. I will put some links down below for you. And then this one is actually the original drill brush. This is that, and you can get this in a kit too. But these are uh, this white version. They go by colors, but the white is what I use for carpet and upholstery and stuff like that inside the car, which I'll show you. But we're talking, you know, these are just uh, a quality, quality thing. And they make life so much easier. But this one, like I said, they're kind of color coded. We use them for different things. The white being your carpet and upholstery, and the most commonly used one. The yellow ones are a little more aggressive we use those more for uh, uh, for bathroom cleaning and sink cleaning and stuff like that uh, it works incredible for so many different uses we'll show you these a little bit but basically all they do doesn't matter if it's a drill because I buy the ones that are chucked okay um, so you can get them as a solid shank where they only work on a drill but I prefer to have the ones that are actually chucked so I can use it on a drill or I can actually put them right on my drill driver Okay, so it goes either one, where if you don't get the ones that have this setup on there, they are not going to work in a nut driver or an impact driver type scenario. So I like these. They're just really easy. I don't have to mess with tightening the chuck down. It's real quick and simple to swap them out if I want to go to this one and do something else. So it's just real easy to use those. Um, so I prefer that kind of a setup. Now, what you do is basically you're just going to put this on. We'll put this one on because we're going to use this on the wheels here for a second on the, or on the tires. But um, this just goes in there and you apply your solution or whatever you want. That's all there is to it. Just sweet and easy. So if we look at here and we do nothing but water even. Let's set this up here where you can see this tire. Because you can see my tire is awful dirty. And make sure you're all good. We're going to trust you a little bit. So right there. So you see this. So if I did in this pump up sprayer here. All I have in here is just water. I'm going to spin that so I can see where you are. Like that. All right, so this is just water in here. We take this and pump it up a second. We're just going to get that wet. And I'm going to show you, like I said, these things just make life so much easier than messing with stuff. We've got this pumped up here, some water. We're just going to hit a little water on here just for a second. Just because I'm too lazy to bring a hose over here like that. And again, you would use a soap and a solution, but I'm not going to bother. Put this on here. Just give her a clean. You can adjust the variation you want. You know, whatever you want to do. But that's it. Imagine how long that would take you to do that by hand. And then we're just going to rinse it and see the results. And we now have a perfectly clean tire but you see how quick and easy that was one or two quick times around you saw how dirty that tire was to begin with and now it's all perfect so nothing too crazy nothing you got to mess with look at all that dirt on the ground under it that we took off of there so makes a huge simple process and then you just rinse your brush off when you're done you can see it all coming out of there again use a hose or in your sink or whatever you want but just a real simple easy uh, kind of process now we can use it for other things as well too which I will show you let me switch these brushes out set this up here and I'll show you how to take a stain out of a seat too all right now there's gonna be a little shadowing we're gonna have to deal with on here it just is what it is but so if I take if I take this cover off which is what I'm using this is superior product zap it really like this stuff but I'm just gonna put a little bit on that stain right there Right there like that, and you can see the stains up here. I'm just gonna put a little bit right on there too, just to hit those couple spots. Here's another little spot right there. Again, my truck, it's, I use it for work all the time. So we're gonna hit that. We are putting the white brush on, which is upholstery and carpet brush, and we're just gonna lightly adjust this. And let that do the work. And we're gonna hit it here, lightly. Yeah. 
and then we'll come back and check that in a few minutes and see what it looks like. But that's it, sweet, simple, and easy. I'm gonna wipe it with a microfiber cloth, which I'll go grab, and then, like I said, once it dries, we'll see. All right, I'm not gonna keep waiting for that to dry, but as you can see, cleans it up really well. Stains are gone out of there. Stains are gone that were in here. Um, so just as simple with a white brush. Now keep in mind too, these are neoprene seat covers. As long as you're gentle on them, even something like that. So it's nowhere near like trying to use this on carpet. This stuff is a lot more fragile being neoprene, but it still works, just run light pressure. But that's a neoprene cover there, neoprene seat covers here, still clean up fantastic. Um, and then I'm gonna take them off and machine wash them. Just makes life easy. Let's go see what you can use this for in the house okay here we got we're inside this is our rental house here in st helen but we're waiting to head to georgia but we have three stains here stain there stain there and then a stain here we just hit that again that covers all um or cover all whatever they can this is but superior i call it zap it by superior cover all is their brand but it's one of my favorite kind of carpet cleaners uh upholstery cleaners but we put a little squirt on there put a little squirt on these couple stains here from where shoes have been in here and uh you know we don't have to get crazy we take our drill brush again with that upholstery set up on here, that carpet one, and we hit this. And you can vary the speed with a drill driver. It's nice. It'll go as fast as you want. We hit that. Hit these stains. Like that. We would take our shop vac or our vacuum if we want to, but since we don't have one, we are gonna just use a microfiber cloth. You could also hit it a little bit with water if you wanted to, if you're gonna use a shop vac, like I'm doing with this just water sprayer. But then we take this and we just clean that up with a towel and draw that out of there, pat it out of there. And when this dries, that will be 100% stain free and perfect. Right there, gone and gone. So there it is, sweet and easy, but like I said, a drill brush makes a big difference. Let's see what else we can use them on. Okay, here we are. This is a tub, again, at the house here, at our rental house, but same kind of concept here applies. You move that out of the way, you have different brushes. Your flat one here is perfect for all of your wall stuff. So you got scum rings, things like that. You can literally work right around this and clean. You know, I don't have any cleaner on this, so I'm not gonna just keep going. But you can use this on all of your flat surfaces. Pop that one off, go to this one. Again, these kits are dirt cheap. I'll have links to them. This one will let you literally and roll right in through here and clean all that up and clean that bar, clean that shelf, clean this edge, clean in here, all the way up. It just gives you total versatility to be able to clean stuff. And then you also have your little one, which we don't use very often, but um, you could use this one if you wanted to, like on this flat edge here, uh, to get this chrome in here and clean that up and get into here and get around here. You know, but you see where you can use all this stuff. Simple and easy. No more elbow grease, no fighting with stuff. Spray your uh, detergents on or whatever your cleaners are and use these couple simple brushes. But there you go. That is your drill brush setup. Um, and I will have links below for the ones that are household use like these three and also the one that I highly recommend for car detailing for inside and outside. Like I said, if I were to use this like on those neoprene seat covers, it would have shredded them. Okay, so you gotta be careful with stuff. So I like that white one that's made by the original drill brush. Good for all interior surfaces, for your carpet on there, for your floor mats, for your house carpet. It's not gonna rip anything up. These ones, this yellow kind of stuff, better for more aggressive things and harder surfaces kind of like this. So I will have links below for you. Thanks for watching.